For too long have we lived as strangers to one another, divided by walls built to keep us safe. But now with the completion of the Cairo network, we may at last move forward as a people united. Today we come together to celebrate the birth of a new nation, a new nation for a new world, the United Cities of America. I once took an oath oh, to he has the kipu. and defend the Constitution of the United States. And though that proud republic may be no more, we remain. And so, as your president, I hereby swear to support and defend you, the people. Let there be no more walls between us, nor masks to hide who we are. He's going to take the mask off. Did Amelie give Sam the kipu? Let there be a new America. An America where we can face one another. Where we can speak our minds and open our hearts. The old ways die hard. But I believe, my fellow Americans, that we have the strength and the courage to rise above our past and embrace our Wait. future. That's Mama? The Stranding is a part of that past. An enduring shadow. A constant reminder of what could have been. That we stand here today is testament not to the greatness of any one individual, but to our capacity to come together, to the bonds between us, to our collective greatness. All things must come to an end, ourselves included. But as long as we savor each moment, find joy in the promise of tomorrow, embrace hope and reject despair, we will endure. President Bridget Strand and her daughter, Samantha America Strand, sacrificed everything in their pursuit of hope that we, the people, might be whole again. That they are not here today to see the fruits of their labor fills us all with a profound sadness. But we find comfort in the knowledge that their memories will live on in the Cairo network and in our hearts. We will always remain connected. There is another hero in this story. One whose achievements seem destined to go unrecognized. Sam doesn't want recognized. America still needs that hero. That person without whom we would not be here. Now, the name is unimportant. But you know who I mean. And for that unsung hero, I have a message. It was you who brought us together. You who made us whole again. And while you and I will eventually pass on, Going somewhere, Sam? Well, Are everybody has keepers. Unsung hero? No, I'm done is all. She's gone. Come on, wait. There's something I need to tell you. Huh? This doesn't bother you anymore? <laughs> well, that's great. Yeah. Now, wouldn't you like to know how we brought you back from the beach? We were going to use the doll, but didn't have one handy. Which is when I remembered something else. Not what I think it is. Yes. What could be more connected to Amelie's beach than President Strand's umbilical cord? Hmm. Hartman thought that's why she left it with me in the first place. Unfortunately... It didn't work. Yeah, she'd already cut her beach loose. It was just... gone. We didn't know if that meant she dragged you into the great beyond, or sent you to some other beach. We were really racking our brains. 
Hartman and Mama split up and started searching every beach you might feasibly have washed up on. We looked for a month with absolutely nothing to show for it. A whole month? A month on the outside. How long on the inside? Trust me when I tell you, you don't want to know. <laughs> but don't worry. We found no signs of accelerated aging. In the end, this is what led us to you. The director is Just gone. when we were about to give up, Die Hardman reminded us about the revolver. So we tried to follow it, and it led us to a far corner of your own beach. And bingo, there you were. Mama made visual contact first. She was able to see you from her vantage point on the other side. She informed Lochna via their connection, and Hartman confirmed your location during his subsequent NDE. The plan was for Fragile to, in essence, slingshot Lou and me to your position so we could rescue you. But it's not so easy to send multiple individuals to another person's beach for an extended period of time. And that's where the umbilical cord came in. We wove these from President Strand's DNA. They serve as a single knot that binds us all. The President must have known all of this would happen. Ironic, isn't it? The gun that set this whole mess in motion ends up being the key to saving you. That's the gun that killed Cliff? Amelie. She said it had another purpose. Not a weapon, but a lifeline. A stick that became a rope. Huh. <laughs> I suppose that's one way of putting it. Oh, Sam. <laughs> you have no idea how long I've been waiting to give you a hug. <laughs> Got something else to tell you. Top secret. It's about Cliff. Bibi's mother's name was Lisa Bridges. Cliff's common-law wife. Lisa Bridges. Uh, uh, now, Cliff was killed by a man identified in the records only as John. Former U.S. Special Forces. Quite good at it by all accounts. Later appointed as an aide to the president who used him for most of her wet work. The records go on to state that he vanished after Cliff's death. A warrant was put out, but he was later found dead. Turns out some people die harder than others, though. Ha 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 ha. Deep John donned a mask and reappeared with a new identity. But you can't fool the chiral network. We restored the old records, and Mama hid them deep in the archives. You're the only one besides us with access privileges. Take a look if you're so inclined. But don't say I didn't warn you. The president's got some dirty, dirty laundry. Yeah, I imagine. I don't trust him. But I'll work with him if that's what it takes. We'll talk later. There's there's more mystery? This game is still going? <laughs> I don't know how I feel about Amelie after all of this. I was Sorry. fine thinking of them as separate entities and But if they're really one I don't expect you to forgive me. But would you hear me out? I killed Captain Clifford Unger. Yeah, you know this already. Come on. I would tell you I did it for America. For love of country. But that's not but true. I didn't. I did it for her. Because I loved her with all my heart. She was huh. everything to me. Everything. Now, I'm not trying to make excuses. I just want you to know that not a day's gone by when I haven't thought about it. Time didn't help. Or the mask. Please, let me finish. He's gonna get this on his chest. He. The captain 
saved my life. You know why they call me Die Hartman. Because you haven't died. Because he wouldn't let me die. He brought my sorry ass back home every time. And I loved him as much as I loved her. <laughs> and when he stared me down, that ghost, I knew he was here to kill me. To make it right. And why shouldn't he? <laughs> yeah, I feel bad for the guy. Why didn't he? He couldn't save his, his kid, his baby. And that's what brought him back. I guess when he's he saw I was trying to do my part for America. He remembered who he was. And he forgave me. God! But I don't deserve it, God damn it! There is no atoning for what I've done. Dead God. No. I don't blame him at all. I'm really upset at Bridget. Oh man. Maybe this is the next best thing. Maybe he brought me back from the beach for a reason. One last time. So Amelie didn't let him go? Cliff, Cliff did? He wanted me to do this. To keep on being Die Hardman. No. He didn't. Nobody wants a president who acts like they're immortal. And if you're not scared of death, how can you value life? And life is pretty fucking fragile right now. And yeah, the old ways die hard. But that's what's gonna have to happen if we're gonna come together and build a better America. That gun won't help you here. That's her words, not mine. He needs some serious therapy. You, Holy frick. Oh, man. Hey, Sam. Been waiting for you. Lou? Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Dead? Poor thing was never truly alive. Not in this world, at least. The decommissioning order finally came through. Can't risk necrosis. The body can't stay here. It just died? I thought you might want to take care of it. You could try taking Lou out of the pot just to see what happens. But that would be in direct contravention of an executive order. Well, screw that. And there are laws about that kind of thing. Now that we're a nation. 
What are you talking about? I just couldn't bring myself to do it. But if the alternative is defying the president, I can't do that either. Not me. Smash it. All right. I'll go to the incinerator. I mean, I don't think Lou's gonna come back to life if... if he's dead. What the hell happened? Just ceased functioning? Maybe because it couldn't connect to a chiral mother? Before you leave, I'd like to check something quickly. I just took your cufflinks offline. In that state, there'd be nothing to stop you from removing them. If you did, the UCA wouldn't know where you were or how to find you. You'd be invisible. When you use the incinerator, you'll be reconnected to the network automatically. I trust you'll remember what I said. All right. Absolutely. So I shouldn't use the incinerator right away. I don't think you'll be needing an umbrella. <laughs> I decided to follow my father's dream after all. Don't worry. I won't get mixed up with any terrorists this time. <laughs> UCA's got my back. We're the first private delivery company to get the official approval. Sounds like you're moving up in the world. Congratulations. Thanks. Wait, there's something I have to tell you. I didn't shoot Higgs. Couldn't pull the trigger. Hey, good on you. So I let him choose. Death or eternal solitude on the beach. Well, fair enough. You never did like breaking things. That's right. I find and fix what's broken. And reconnect. I'm fragile. But not, not that, that fragile. fragile. <laughs> you wanna come work for me? Could use a man like you. The world's still broken. The same as before. What isn't? But we're still here. We're still chugging along. Not everyone. Not me. Come on. You put America back together, didn't you? Doesn't mean there's a place for me. I've got no ties to anyone or anything. That's not true. I might as well be dead. I felt like that when we first met in the cave. I still do. Don't act like you're the same person. You've learned how to touch, to feel. You've connected with people, with us. Everything I touch, I lose. Oh. Sam! Is this because Phoebe?
So I don't know. Hold on. Play BB to rest. I guess we should go to... Th I don't understand why... Why is it important that the cufflinks aren't connected? BB's theme? No, I can't even get into... anything. going Wait, can I go in here? Nope, can't do anything. BB sign.
They've made this like super easy to traverse. We're not tripping on everything. We're not... Like they've just made it easy to get here. I f still feel like maybe we should be doing Igor still? I still feel like we should be doing something since the cufflinks are no longer active. Like I'm I'm missing something important that I should be doing. But I can't access anything or continue to do deliveries. need some time to just work all of this around in my brain because I'm still conflicted about the whole thing. I'm hoping we get some more answers. Maybe? We still haven't, you know, hit the end. <laughs> just keeps going. We still don't know if Cliff is really dead. Here we go. Alright. I guess we're here. Are you gonna take him out of the pod? You still with me, Lil? Poor thing I was never truly alive. Not in this world. At Except least. it was because it was connecting with Sam and it was growing. Becoming a person. Thanks, yeah, here we go. A BB cat. Either that or a BB can't for what? This specific BB is special. A bridge. So was she hiding her face because she was ashamed? Brought you an astronaut. Mankind can go anywhere, even out of space. You'll be out of there in no time. And the second all this is over, I'm going to take you wherever you want to go. Then BB-28 has been in operation for a really long time. No! <laughs> this is important, damn it! Can I help you? Holy shit. John. Is that you? Captain. What are you doing here? My wife's checked in. I don't want to repeat of last year. The void out. In Manhattan. So did he set this up? I didn't know you were the husband. Oh, okay. This isn't what we agreed on. You said you'd do everything in your power to save BB. We are. But we cannot release your son just yet. Believe me when I tell you it's for the best. Is this a woman in a mask who's done nothing but lie to me? I have a duty to protect our country. Lies are an unfortunate necessity.
Yeah, that's not a good answer at all. The president gave me the highest level access privileges. I've used them to manipulate the security system. We have five minutes before it resets, sir. Five minutes to talk. Off the record. Take your son in GTFO. Take BB and get out of this place. There's nothing I can do for your wife. I'm sorry. You were my commanding officer, but I swore an oath to the president to protect her and the country at all costs. Now, if she orders me to do something, I have to do it. I have to. But I served under you first. And your family doesn't deserve this. Any of this. Why are you helping me? If they catch you. Because you saved my life, sir. Again and again. When the brass sent us into the jaws of hell, it was you that brought us home. Back then, I thought I was invincible. I thought I was some kind of action hero. But I'm not the hero. You are, sir. You're the reason I'm still alive. And it's past time I paid that debt. They're moving your son to a new facility tomorrow. You'll never see him again. He'll serve as the foundation of a new communications network. A sacrifice for a nation that no longer exists. I wrote down everything you need to know. It was the only way to keep it off the system. Burn it when you're done. The rest is up to you, sir. Paper said. I believe this belongs to you, sir. Now, I can't terminate your wife's life support from inside her room. System won't allow it. So, this is the only other option. Alarm is set to go off if she flatlines. Oh, so I you can't. the system to spoof her vitals. Okay, okay. That was gonna be but my you question. you won't have long. Five minutes, tops. <sighs> Don't hesitate, sir. This is the only chance you'll get. She's already gone. Oh, he's going to try and deafen the sound.
Will that disconnect the baby from the system? Is that why they have to end her life support? I'm sorry, Lisa. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. I promise you. I promise you. My hand, Manisa. I don't know what to trigger warning this. You had to do it twice? You gotta move. You gotta move. You gotta move. Could you still get memories connected to something that's not alive anymore? Hold on, wait, can I check on him? Oh, I can't. This is on me. Can't it's not on you, you didn't do anything. Okay. In that state, there'd be nothing to stop you from removing them. If you did, the UCA wouldn't know where you were or how to find you. You'd be invisible. When you use the incinerator, you'll be reconnected to the network automatically. There you go. You could try taking Lou out of the pod just to see what happens. Take him out! That would be in direct contravention of an executive order. Take him out. I don't think it's going to help, but take him out of the pod. Yeah, I don't feel good about that. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Break it, come on, break it. A purpose that cannot fulfill outside the pot. Break it. There is a 70% risk of catastrophic failure simply in removing it. Break it. How can you connect to something that's dead? It can't be. Whoa. Can I move? Oh, I'm in the pod. I am 
the baby. Can I zoom in? No. Oh! 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 I'm swimming. Oh. Can we leave? Oh! Which way did dad go? Not that way. Dad, uh... There he is! Wait, was that like traveling in the seam? Is that what that was emulating? Finding her, her body again? Uh, if you break it, it's gonna be obvious. Okay, I was like, don't do that. Why won't the doors open for you? Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Put the gun away, maybe? Aw, oh, shit. Alright, now break- no. Freeze! Hey, put it down! Drop it! Put it down! Back off! Stand up, stand up, stand up. Get up! Why didn't you- what? I'll handle this. I would have gone toward them, not away from them. Shot you in the back. Pull him out of there. Don't! You got it! You two! Stay there! And hold your fire! That works. Take him with you. Outside, <laughs> sir, or we'll be forced to open fire. It's a dead end. He's trapped. Security will take it from here. Oh, he's part of security, not bridges? He's got a security badge. Okay, he does have a bridges badge. So what are they? He's security, but what were they? Uh, what? He went back. Oh, that's why it's a dead end, those doors. Oh, man. Oh my 
I'm sorry, Lisa. I screwed it up. I've ruined everything. This room is off limits. No one goes in. But he's in there, sir. I thought you saw him all. Now check the other way. Go! Yes, sir. No. Open it up, he's inside. Oh. I wish John had done more. I feel like he could have done more. Don't worry. It's okay. I'll always be with you. See the sunset. The day is ending. Let that yawn out. There's no pretending. I will hold you and protect you from that when he talks to him? When I found out I was going to be a father, I was so scared. They're all just standing there while he's bleeding out. Scared of what it would mean. I had to be there for you and your mom. No matter what. I couldn't just go off and get myself killed anymore. Couldn't leave you all alone. I couldn't. Get off of him! Now! Take Sam. Let oh go. my God. Please. Shoot him. I gave you an order. Shoot him. Shoot her, man. 
You told me your name was Sam Porter. But you were Sam Bridges. My son. My bridge to the future. Without you, I was just like any other cliff. Dead end. No way forward. Nothing but an obstacle. Looking on at the world people like you were trying to build. Dividing people was the only thing I was ever good at. What is happening right now? But are you sad? You bring people together. You're on their bridge to the future. why he wanted him to have the tags <gasps> oh she shot him holy shit That baby too. Oh, that's why she said. Oh, no, 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 no. no. <laughs> that's why she said she knew she made a mistake and she had to bring Sam back. She went to the beach and brought him back. That's why his stomach looks like that. It's not a bridge baby thing. It's her repairing him.
Oh. Oh, he's walking away. You want to go home? Let's go home. It's okay. I know the way. I like Amelie and I don't like Bridget and I'm just going to have to figure out what to do with that. I'm going to have to rewatch some some clips and try to work my brain around all of this. We get a baby in the same pod, or do the pod just gets reused? That would make sense. Send him back to the pod? You understand his days as a BB are over now that his connection to the other side has been severed. It was me who cut the cord. So, oh, yes. A deathless repatriate in the world of the living. Should we decommission him? Take him out of the pod. In a matter of speaking, take him out of the pod. I'll raise him as my own. And he grew to hate her. Oh, he's burning the cufflinks! <gasps> yes! Is Lou okay? Is Lou alive? Come on, Lou. Wake up. Do some baby CPR. stuff leaving him. Come on, dude, wake up. Wake up. Come on. Wake up! You faked me out. That was cruel. Don't do that. Lou. 
What? <gasps> what? How'd you get a kipu? All the other babies. What does that even mean? <laughs> Somehow he got a knot? Are you out in the rain without your hood up? You're both fine? Is that a peaceful rainbow? That's a rainbow after the rain. Don't. Oh my god. Every time we touch it, So Lou is Lou is a girl? Called her Louise? Oh, episode 15. Two weeks earlier. What? Does it? Good morning, Sam. Blood collection complete. Thank you for your generosity. Mail received. Well, look who's awake. Morning, Sam. You'll be happy to hear your vitals have stabilized. What the frick? <laughs> and that you're well on your way to recovery. Ah, not that it's your fault, but what I wouldn't give to trade places. We're all stuck in the president's office, working like dogs to get everything ready in time for the inauguration. But at least one of us is still free as a bird. You should head out. Make the most of it. Could even do some orders if you wanted. Might do you good to get back in the game. You may recall it was raining buckets back when you left for Amelie's Beach. We took a real beating at the time, but we've done our best to service the structures and vehicles in the area. So you know, any cargo that was stored in your private locker at a damaged facility should have been transferred to your private locker here at this distro center. Anyway, busy or not, we'll still be on the end of the line if you need us. And if you want some alone time, we should be able to manage for now. Just make sure you're back in time for the big day, alright? See you then. Hey, Sam. You should
sure you don't have any unfinished business? Oh, I have plenty. So this is before the inauguration. I... what do you want? So it's the game's letting us continue. Can we check on Lou? You asleep? Lou looks happy. So, I'm actually gonna wait to roll credits on this game because I need some time to figure out, um, my thoughts are kind of a mess right now. So, we also have stuff that we need, we need to read and some things that we need to do, so we're gonna do that and then once I've figured out Got my brain housing group all worked out. Then we'll then we'll run the credits at the very last episode. I think that's what we'll do.